Many people in our FFC community have been asking for this video for years. So we are going to do a full cash lineup on the main slate for Yahoo for week five. You heard me right, Yahoo's platform. And it's coming up next. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Lee with the Fantasy Football Consultants. Now, we're test piloting a show here on Yahoo because we've noticed so few people in the YouTube community are actually doing full lineups on the Yahoo platform. So if it's something that you're interested in, because we track the views, the likes, and we can even determine how many new subscribers we get from each video, then you better speak up, support this video, and we'll do it again next week. All right, folks, let's get into it. Uh, the cash lineup on Yahoo. Now, if you're not familiar with the Yahoo pricing, it is very similar to FanDuel. Half PPR and no milestone scoring, meaning you don't get bonus points of three points if you get 100 yards rushing or receiving or 300 yards passing. So we're taking a look at running backs and we're going to build a cash lineup here. And on both DraftKings and FanDuel for week five, we loved Derrick Henry, but Yahoo has made him really expensive. $42 of our $200 budget would be sapped up. And folks, you know that on Yahoo, we can spend only $21 for Najee Harris. Now, Henry's good, but he's not twice as good as Najee Harris. And you know what? We can also add for much less than half, uh, Leonard Fournette. All right, so let's talk about these two guys. That uh, Najee Harris is in a great environment. He's a home favorite. Now, he does place a tough defense, but what you really like about Najee Harris is they make every attempt to get him the ball. He is in on 93% of the snaps, by far the highest uh, snap total of any other running back this year. And he is going to obviously get the goal line carries. He is the passing back and he'll get almost all of the running back carries. So definitely have a good floor with Najee Harris. And I love the $21 price. Speaking of good environment, Leonard Fournette is in the best environment, a home favorite monster 11 point favorites. So here's the deal. At the beginning of the year, I wanted to stay far away from this Tampa Bay back grill because you had not only Leonard Fournette, but Ronald Jones and Gio Bernard. Well, the results are in, folks. Leonard Fournette has, is the featured running back on this team. What does that mean? He outcarried Ronald Jones 20 to 6 last week. Now, Gio Bernard is still on the team. Now, he's missed the last uh, couple of games. And he might miss this game. What does that mean? That means he is going to get be the third down passing back. And if they're in obvious passing situations, he'll get all, he'll stay in the game. Now, here is the deal. Gio Bernard might play. I still am happy with Leonard Fournette at this $18 price because they're 11 point favorites. And I think game script wise, Leonard Fournette will, uh, his team is going to be in head. So there's not going to be a lot of obvious passing downs, except maybe on third and long And Fournette probably will give way to Gio Bernard in that circumstance. But either way, I'm happy with Leonard Fournette and his $18 salary. Now here's the magic that we see on Yahoo. By getting two solid backs, but saving a lot of money, we can go hog wild in wide receivers. And you know what? We're going to start with the best in the land, Devontae Adams. He is a, uh, you know, he's by far, he's the best wide receiver on the main slate. Uh, he has the second most targets of anybody in the NFL. The only one behind Cooper Cup, but he's not on the main slate. Tyreek Hill isn't on the main slate. And the only thing stopping Devontae Adams from really going off is he's only scored one touchdown in the first four games. That is going to change, folks. Aaron Rodgers always looks Devontae Adams' way when he gets around the goal line traditionally. 
So I think he is due for a multi-touchdown game. It just might happen this week. Either way, he has a tremendous floor. And speaking of a tremendous floor, this is just absurd. I do not understand what Yahoo's doing. I, look how far I'm scrolling. At $20, I can get DJ Moore. DJ Moore, who's fourth in the NFL among wide receivers and targets. DJ Moore, who is the obvious number one wide receiver on his team. DJ Moore, who faces a Philadelphia team and secondary who can't stop anybody. So I love this. One of my favorite picks on Yahoo at $20. Welcome DJ Moore into the lineup. And again, because we've saved money, we're just going to corner the market on number one wide receivers in good situations at only $22. Let's welcome Terry McLaren. Terry McLaren. Now look, we already know he's the obvious number one wide receiver. Here's the deal facing New Orleans. You go, isn't New Orleans a very tough defense to face? Yeah, if you're a running back, they're the second rank uh, team against the run, but they're rather poor against the plat pass. They're kind of like Tampa, the Tampa Bay Bucks. And you love his target role on New Orleans. Now, I do know he faces Marshawn Latimer. Uh, the best cornerback on New Orleans likely will shadow him. I still think that they're going to make every effort to get him the ball. And guess what? $22 is just way too cheap. All right. So from here, I'm getting a little bit of the lay of the land. We have an average salary left of $21. When I look at tight end and I see, guess what? The Chiefs aren't on this slate. So Kelsey is uh, not uh, an option. Um. So Waller is intriguing at only $23, but I want to take this opportunity to really save some money. So I am going to scroll down and I am going to grab Jared Cook at only $13. You know, Jared Cook, he, he's, he's at home, he's favored, and he faces uh, the Cleveland Browns. Boy, is Justin Herbert once again looking great. And obviously he has Mike Williams and Keenan Allen to throw, but he also targets at nearly six targets a game, Jared Cook. So I like the bargain that we get with him for only $13. Uh, all right. So by the way, I really, really would have liked at $16, Mike Gusecki, but I couldn't quite afford him. And you'll see how I build the rest of my lineup. But look, I love receiving uh, players against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Bucks, as I said before, really good against the run, not so good against the pass. And Gusecki has been involved in the passing game, uh, being targeted a lot. So uh, would have loved Gusecki. If you can fit him in and adjust something else that you don't like, I say go for it. All right, at quarterback, by the way, one way to fit uh, Gusecki in and switch him from Jared Cook is to start uh, Trey Lance at $23. Here's the deal, though, folks. I've been preaching this all week. I don't know the status of Jimmy Garoppolo. It's, he's still questionable. Now, some people are going to tell you, well, if Trey Lance gets named the starter, you're good to go. Put Trey Lance in there. I think you guys need to be more cautious. I will start Trey Lance, and I'll even recommend him on Yahoo if Jimmy Garoppolo is deemed inactive. I do not want Jimmy Garoppolo available in this game because even if they start Trey Lance at any time in the game, they may very well switch to Jimmy Garoppolo. They have done that in uh, back and forth in downs in certain situations, get Garoppolo into the game. That's fantasy nightmare to have your <laughs> – quarterback in a committee situation so if you get word if you get word that uh garoppolo is inactive i'm okay take out um uh, the guy i'm gonna tell you to put in put in lance and then you can upgrade from cook to gasecki but without that knowledge i'm getting daniel jones in my lineup i do like daniel jones i really like the fact that he gives you a great floor with his rushing and also, I love his matchup this week. 
facing uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Really to look for uh, a nice floor out of Daniel Jones. And only $25, that's pretty reasonable. Let's sign him up. So with $24 uh, average salary left in my final two, I can actually really spend up in my flex spot. And the guy that I am drawn to here at, you know, I, I, $11 cheaper than Derrick Henry is Alvin Kamara. He's perfectly healthy. And folks, it's just been a strange year for Alvin Kamara. You know, he's a guy that used to share carries with like a Latavius Murray or back in the day, Mark Ingram, and be heavily involved in the passing game. Now we're seeing him being more of a bell cow rusher, 20 carries, 24 carries, 26 carries, but at the same time, not getting involved in the passing game as he has in the past. Now, Drew Brees loved to check down to him. It looks like, um, it looks like uh, Jameis Winston doesn't do that as much, but I do think last week was an aberration. I think that we can expect four targets at least out of Alvin Kamara. And I love the game script against Washington. Washington has not been able. I, I thought their defense was pretty good at the beginning of this uh, preseason. But so far this year, they haven't been able to stop anybody. And I think Alvin Kamara could have a huge day. That leaves $17. And folks, I can't believe this. I, can you explain to me what, what Yahoo is doing here? The Saints, the Broncos, the Bucks, the Panthers. I don't want any of those defenses. You know the defense that I want? I don't want the Bears. I don't want the Bengals. I don't want the Cardinals. I don't want the Cowboys. This is the defense I want. I want the New England Patriots. I think on FanDuel, the New England Patriots are the most expensive defense. Oh, this is absurd. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're the ninth most expensive defense. Look, on its own, New England has a very tough defense. But do you remember a couple of weeks ago when the New England Patriots uh, went on the road to the New York Jets? That Patriot defense and Bill Belichick embarrassed Zach Wilson, intercepting him four times, and I believe it was a shutout against the Jets. Well, guess what? Who, they now travel to Houston with Davis Mills, another rookie quarterback who is not as good as Zach Wilson. And by the way, last week, they were shut out by the Bills. And Davis Mills threw four interceptions. Sound familiar? I don't understand this price at $16. I don't normally like to pay up in, at uh, defense, but I can't help it this week. So there's my lineup. Daniel Jones, Harris, Fournette, Adams, Moore, McLaren, Cook, Kamara, uh, the Patriots. Hey, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and check out in the YouTube subscription. We did a full NFL DFS class, which tells you all the proven strategies to excel in daily fantasy football. They're applicable if you're playing DraftKings, FanDuel, or here on Yahoo. So we did a deep dive in the proven strategies to pick the right quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, and defense. And then we did a really detailed analysis of cash game strategies and GPP. And the best thing about it, it is completely free on YouTube. So just go to the description of this video. You'll see the link to each of the shows and check it out. Thanks so much for joining us on this inaugural Yahoo show. If you missed it, please check out our week five DraftKings and NFL Survivor show and our week five FanDuel show. Until next week, take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.